Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So today we have a requested tutorial and I think a few of you guys have requested this sort of transition and this is what we'll be creating. Okay, so basically it's a uh, transition from like one video clip to another where we just cut out somebody like walking by the screen and it's really easy to do this effect so this should be a quick tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started and um, basically I already have our, you know, our footage of our actress walking by here and this was from a film that I shot a long time ago and because I'm too lazy to shoot new stuff. So uh, here's our footage and basically we have uh, some footage right here from the project window uh, that I want to go ahead and like kind of transition in. So what I'll do is put our footage that are like our second clip underneath our transition clip, basically the clip where she's walking by or whatever object you, you want to do. So you can do a car or whatever uh, transition that, you know, you, you just need something to kind of just uh, walk by or fly by or it doesn't matter to go by your screen so we can do this effect. So basically with the clip I just imported, uh, the uh, second clip here, I want, I'm going to go ahead and lock this layer so we don't accidentally mask, mask it. So basically you can do this effect in any uh, program that allows masking. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. So basically I'll just go to like right here. So let's go to the pen tool and let's just click a point off the screen here. And then let's go ahead and start cutting around our actress or uh, maybe in your case an object. And we'll just quickly just mask around. Um, it's a little bit hair here. I don't mind cutting that off just by a little bit. And then we'll just keep going around here. And boom. And of course the less points always the better, but if you're like me, you're not, you're not really organized. Okay, so there we have our cutting, and I'm gonna go ahead and maybe just turn that back layer off so we can see what we're doing. You know what, I'll keep it on. You know what, sorry, there we go. Okay, so now we just have to animate this mask to go by. So what we'll do is open up the mask one properties and click the stopwatch for mask path to create a keyframe. And what we'll do now is we'll go back in time just by a little bit. And then what we'll do is go to the selection tool and we'll just go ahead and move the mask points over and hold down shift so all the points stay consistent. And we have some little offset here. So what we'll do is basically we'll just like kind of click a point here to, and then we'll hold down shift and we'll select all these points here and I'll deselect that point and we'll move this in. And then, you know, we'll go back a little bit. And then once again, we will select all the points if I can select them all and move that forward. And one thing we need to fix is over here. So what we'll do is go to the front end points over here, select those and push them over and then go back to the last keyframe and fix that up as well. There we go. And then go back a few frames. And then once again, we'll just repeat the process until uh, she comes onto screen. So kind of just like that and move forward maybe back back two frames and then we'll continue to do this until out oh, right here okay and then once again I have to move these off so let's go ahead and just do that boom oh look at that okay and then we're back to our mid ground here and let's just go forward a few frames and select our mask and move it forward over here. And then let's move forward a couple of frames again. And I'll be right back once this is done. All right, and here's our mask and it isn't great. So what we'll do is I'll turn on the background layer here, here and then we'll go to the mask feather and we will jump that up maybe to 50-ish. And then we'll go to the mask expansion and maybe bring that into the negative value just by a little bit. Maybe not so much. And then maybe lower the feather just by a little bit. So there we have it. Uh, basically now we have our actress uh, transitioning into our next shot. And it looks pretty awesome. Of course you do want to be wary of the uh, color correction. Uh, these are not, these do not go together whatsoever. This is a warm look, this is more of a cool look. So if you guys have any requests for tutorials or any questions, please drop a comment down below or check out my social media networks, links in the description. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing for more awesome tutorials just like this. And if this video has helped you, please drop me a like, it helps me out tremendously. And guys, thank you so much for watching and hopefully 
I'll see you soon.